Hey guys, let's do another from behind the steering wheel review. This today, or today we're gonna do homesick pilots number two. I, even though uh, I really like the covers um, by uh, Christian Wingard, uh, and they they sort of all match. They're uh, they're like portrait covers, uh, similar to what Engine Word is doing now, and similar to what Jamie McKelvey is doing uh, did in Wicked and Divine. And uh, that's not the only. Um, thing in common I find with Jamie McKelvey and uh, Christian Wingard. But um, this is from Dan Waters. It is a, another book uh, from the uh, White, New, White Noise Writing Studio that has like um, uh, Alex Packendell, I think I'm pronouncing his name wrong, Ram V, who's become really hot lately, uh, Dan Waters, who did Lucifer, who did, um, who's uh, done a couple other things, um, Coffin Bound and stuff. So very weird. So Dan Waters is, is a uh, you know, very strange. Ram V is able to do uh, a lot of a lot of horror, a lot of psychological stuff, and does uh, and is the only one, at least so far, that I've noticed is that's doing uh, mainstream books. So he's doing one of the future state books, um, Swamp Thing. I think he's doing the backup story in Justice League Dark. You know, so still a horror bent, I guess, and then also doing Catwoman, which is not horror at all, which is a, a Bat Family book. So um, this is the Christian Ward variant, though. Uh, and I, I just really liked it. it. It doesn't even look that much like Christian Ward, to be honest. This is does not feel like Christian Ward to me. But that's because he's a talented artist and and uh, and can do things that also feel like the book that's being written and not just uh, go off on his own. So first off is uh, the art. Now the art has a very clean lines. Did I say this was a behind the steering wheel review? Because it is. The art has um very clean lines. So in a lot of ways, it reminds me of. Jamie McKelvey's work in The Wicked and Divine um, and his other work too, but The Wicked and Divine especially. I would say um, this has a little bit more cartoony bent, but maybe with with some more um, with some more detail within the panel. I think uh, Jamie McKelvey comparing just Wicked and Divine, um, you know, war, drew a lot more. There's a lot of uh, a lot of like dance moves and stuff, and and a lot of panel to panel movement that was done very well. So that is what is that is what is similar. Um, after that, it, it gets a little different. There's also a music sort of theme going on here, which at this point you know immediately what's what that is in Wicked and Divine. With Dan Waters, it you know at this point it feels like two disparate things um, mixing together, which is this living house. Uh, that's after these artifacts and and what uh, what is a uh, a local punk rock band or local band um, and the girl that lives inside the house now. So um, there's still a lot of mystery going on. This isn't something I could say that oh for sure is is great that you're gonna love it that everyone should read it. Um, the first one uh, introduced stuff. It was very clever as far as like some panel design. There's a big splash page in the first one that everyone loved. Um, this does the same. Uh, sort of continues, sort of gives me an idea of what's going on, uh, the conflict between uh, the main character and the haunted house, which I can't really tell if it moves yet, if it gets up and walks around yet, or if it's, uh, or if it's just stationary. But really, I can't tell anything that's going on. In fact, it's a little bit like Coffin Bound in that sense, where it was just we really weird. Coffin Bound had a, um, you know, had a pretty deadly feel by um, Kelly Sue DeConnick. So Coffin Bound felt like that a little bit to me, um, where this feels like a, a more horror version of, of Wicked and Divine. Um, but the plot doesn't match at all. So uh, I enjoy it. Now, these are writers that um, I just like in general. I think I just like the way that British writers come at things. I, it just happens over and over again that I, I lean in towards them. So uh, I, I guess I have to just look into that more why that is and i know many of them don't have these um you know superhero backgrounds they sort of fall into it or enjoy it later they don't they're not like it's not built into their comic book mindset like it is for americans but judge dread is so this is nothing like judge dread so anyway I'll, I'll think more about that and whether i'm just uh now assuming that i just like british writers more and i'm giving them more of a chance so we'll find we'll we'll think about that out loud anyway homesick pilots number two uh, i enjoy it could definitely be a trade weight uh, like a lot of image books are, but um, it is something worth reading so far, two issues in. Thank you, guys.